back for more Skyrim, and we're going to go do the, uh, not the Horn of Jurgen Wing Caller, the message to White Run. But first, we are going to talk to Terra Maru, who was added by Anna NPCs. I didn't talk to him at the beginning of the game because he's kind of powerful, but now I think it's very fair to uh, another have him join us. Or another refugee. They're one and the same here. Many and down uh, Kelsey's window complain about the way we treat it. <laughs> almost. Do you suggest we... Does that mean you almost didn't survive, or you were almost the only one? <laughs> you weren't the only one. Oh, Frick himself was there too. But he's home again, safe and sound, and brooding as ever. <laughs> brooding. Well, anyway, you haven't said who you are. Yeah, I'm the Dragonborn. Dragonborn, eh? The songs of your destiny fill every tavern. I thought you would be taller, and considerably less fragrant. I suppose I'd introduce myself. I'm Tyrion Miru, mage extraordinaire, scholar of grief, and violence, and king of shame. <laughs> An educated outlander. Here I thought that no one in Skyrim knew the grief I had seen, and that nobody knew my Sujama. <laughs> is your magic for hire, Jerome? Yes, it is. I like money, and murder, and follow a trade that provides opportunities for both. For a mere 150 gold and a reasonable cut of the profits, I am your mur. Very good. Let me know when Sarah. you want to head out. Pleasure to see you again. Little enough, Sergio. Another Nord hero. He was with the Nord army when it was crushed. My ally, he was a master of dragon magic. Yes, we Dunmer once looked more like the Alpha. Then Azura blessed us, changing our skin and eyes. Marking us as her chosen people. Like the orcs and Dunmar. The Orsimer were cursed for clinging to their fallen god. We Dunmar were exalted to mark the rise of the tribunal. Our gods made flesh. Awesome. This was after the second battle of Red Mountain, not the first one where Windcaller was chased off. You ask him. Fine. Tradition, I suppose. Queen Berenzia came here for shelter. And if Skyrim was good enough for Queen Berenzia, it's good enough for the likes of me. All right. Anything that elicits a scream, swit. I like it when they scream. Damn right I am. I can chuck spells all day. Shock and frost are fine. They end in silence. My favorite. Is fire. Nothing like the sound of smoldering skin as your victim. I mean, uh, foes burn in agonizing death, wondering how they could be so stupid. <laughs> First sensible thing I've heard all day. You seem all right, sweet. You see it like it is. I follow, Sergio. All right, let's go. Let's go see Ulfric. Also of note, I am wearing the I'm, Legionary Vanguard. I'm so cold. That sucks. Legion, I'm wearing the Legionary Vanguard armor again, and uh, I also crafted the uh, white silver sword, except this is the two-handed version. Um, I was gonna actually try and get the um, the other one, not the two-handed, no, uh, the Viper one, but it there's, it requires diamonds, and I just don't have any diamonds, so. Wait, I know you. For the last time, Steven, you don't know me. Stop. I know you just want to sleep with me, but you can't, you can't, that's not the way to go about it. Oh, I know you. You're that fucking high elf that slaughters people. Yeah, and? The Empire's ravenous hunger for Skyrim silver makes them fierce. But rest assured, we'll win the Reach and arrest it from their greedy paws. The Earl of Whiterun returns your axe. Then I was wrong about him. You're right, Galmar. Okay. I'm in no mood to joke. Give the word, my lord, and White Run is yours. White Run is only a means to an end. I've toured our camps. We're ready, Ulfric. Whenever you are. Is any man ever ready to give the order that will mean the deaths of many? No. But neither is every man able to give that order when he must. But you 
are that man, Ulfric. You've been that man before, and you'll be him again. And these men and women, they call themselves Stormcloaks because they believe in you. They are the meanest, toughest sons of bitches Skyrim has to offer. And they want this. They want this as much as you do. Perhaps they want it more. You're certain we're ready. Whiterun's army will no doubt be bolstered with legionnaires. And those walls around Whiterun are old. But they still stand. We are ready. And I might be old myself. But I'll kick those damn walls down with my <coughs> bare feet, if you would only ask me to do it. <laughs> I'm sure you could do it too. All right. This is it. Yes! Send the word. A new day is dawning, and the sun rises over Whiterun. I and the sons of Skyrim will greet that dawn, teeth and swords flashing. So it begins. Make haste to our camp in White Run. I want you on the front lines. I have a feeling about you. Your place is on that battlefield. I need you there. Many will die by my hand. Then I commit them to whatever gods they still believe in. Talos be with you. All right. We're taking the city. Meet the brothers gathering for the attack. Fight well or die well. All right, let's go. We're in this Imperial Legionary Vanguard armor is really great, or Legionary Vanguard armor, whatever you want to fucking call it. The fucking butt stuff, if you really want to. I'm gonna wait because I really want it to be like daytime there, you know, so you get the authentic experience. I've been looking for you. Oh, who the fuck That's are something you? I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. I've got a letter and a lot of gold. Oh, something about it being your uh, oh inheritance. Oh and. Looks like that's it. Got to. Who died this time? Oh no, not Bandit Berserker. <gasps> the poor bastard. Oh, Severio Pelagia. That's actually who it is. A Severo Pelagia, which is interesting because he actually dies before uh, before you actually get to Whiterun. That's interesting. Um, did I pick up anything else that's really, like, worth, like, looking at? Um, I think the simple answer to that question is, uh, is, is a no. Okay. Let's poison our blades. Uh, nope. Uh, health. Nope. Alright. Damage. I'm just gonna poison all of them so we can... Ready? All right. Okay, that should be good. 4 a.m. It's always a good time. Okay. What's really interesting is you can't even travel to White Run. I completely forgot about that. <sighs> Nothing like this peaceful music as people are about to fucking get murdered on mass. Well, here we are. White run. There she goes the catapults. I love it. This is it, man! They say that our cause is false, and that we are nothing more than thieves, thugs, and murderers. But no! We are farmers! We are craftsmen! We are sons and daughters of shopkeepers, maidservants, and soldiers! We are the sons and daughters of Skyrim! And we have come this far because our cause is true, because we fight as one, and because our hearts are bursting with anger. What we do here today, we do for our country, for all the true lords of Skyrim. Huzzah. And trembling like the Empire whose legion lies there. They barricades to block us, but we'll tear through them, and the Imperials behind them! What are you doing? In the draw bridge. If we can find a way to drop it, the city will be ours! 
everyone on me! Let's show these Imperial milk drinkers what true lords look like! <laughs> it's really long. That's the weather for a war, no? So, you get that weird taste in your mouth. Oh, my boys. Oh, geez, something hit me. Rando, the rod, oh jeez. I'm glad that the citizens of White Run really, uh, Boys, I got you. Turn. <laughs> it's like the White Room citizens had no idea this was happening. They're like, oh fuck, there's a fucking Stormcloak army attacking. <laughs> what do we do? Is that Commander Caius? Hey, Caius, get back here. Hey, watch. Yeah. What? What? Bounty added to Peace March. 
Oh, what the hell, Skyrim? You can't attack Commander Caius? Oh, whatever. Even though he's an enemy. These people have no idea what's going on. Glad Galmar changed his armor. Oh, there goes uh, that stall, apparently. Another one, yeah, I know. It's the entire city is literally on fire. Hey, there's a new guild. That's a dead body. without raising my own sword. Sorry, Rayloff. Your family was noticeably absent from the walls. Now I know why. Wouldn't the dagger in the back have sufficed? You think this is personal? The Empire has no place in Skyrim. Not anymore. And you? You have no place in Whiterun anymore! A convenient position to hold now. But mark my words, old man. In the days to come, Ulfric will spread his rebellion thin. And what then? We need the Empire as much as it needs us. We Nords are the Empire. Our blood built it. Our blood sustains it. You of all people should know that. If this was my Empire, I'd be able to worship whoever I damned well pleased. You wish to see an Empire without Talos? Without its soul? We should be fighting those witch elves, not bending knee to them. The Emperor is nothing more than a puppet of the Thalmor. Tell me, Vignar, Oops, was all this what happened worth now. it? How many of those corpses lining our streets wear the faces of men who once called you friend? What about their families? Enough, both of you. There is a burning city out there that needs a government. He's right. Galmar, come. Let us restore order. This isn't over. Hear me, you old fool. This isn't over. And you, Stormcloak. I thought better of you. You'll all come to regret this day. Get over to I'm Vendel. I'm pretty sure I Tell killed Ulfric more than you. Of our victory. I was counting. Yeah. 
keep your distance. I Good surrender. Give me a few hours to gather my household. I'll depart. You have my word. Yeah, suck my dick. Fucking traitor. They will sing stories of this day. Get over to Vendhelm. Tell Ulfric of our victory here. Are your ears still ringing? I hope that goes away. Colors seem... To you. Everything seems bigger, too. Strange. Degenerate filth. <laughs> oh, I love the Battle of Whiterun on the uh, Stormcloak side. It's fucking amazing. We did it, boys. We saved the city. Among other things. Alright. Let's go to Windhelm. <laughs> oh. Wait. I know you. Oh, That's shit. no mistake. You're a wanted man, and it's time to pay for your crimes. You know what? Yeah. You're not worth the hassle. The Go. Be some other guy's problem. <sighs> Want to talk about what just happened? I suppose I'll allow it. It's only a matter of time before disease breaks out. It's likely that the bleeding cold is the only thing that can keep at this long. My invisible magic sword is yours. Middle of the night, apparently. Okay. Over well, gets to become woke in the morning. And uh, we can tell him about how he murdered everyone in White Run. <laughs> Hello, Ulfric. We've driven the Imperials out of White Run. This is good. Very good. We now control the center. It's a powerful position. One I aim to keep. We'll call you Ice Veins now. For the thick blood of our land has seeped into your heart. Here, take this. It's an Imperial Officer's sword. A fitting weapon to use against our enemy. I suspect you'll be of greater use to us with greater freedom. So you're free to engage the Imperials as you see fit. But I also want you to find our hidden camp in Fort Greed. Galmar will have special tasks for you. And we'll need you when we liberate the capital. You'll be doing whatever Garmar tells you to do, and causing as much mayhem as possible for the Empire and any Jarl who supports them. For Skyrim! Soon enough, we will march on Solitude, and on that day, the heroes of Sovereign Guard will march with us. I'm not much of a strategist, but Lord Ulfric listens to my counsel all the same. Alright. So we don't need to bother with that now. <laughs> um. I can go do the companions or start them at least. What I want to do is... Wait, I know you. Dude, we literally just talked about this. We could go to Hjalmar's... I don't know. I think what I should probably do is do the Horn of Jurgen Windcaller, but let's go check out uh, Whiterun now that it has been uh, liberated from the dirty communists. We have we have liberated all of Whiterun. There's definitely a lot of NPCs that died. I don't know why Donna Skyrim and Immersive Settlements were kind of like acting like that with the NPCs. I don't know why they weren't coded to go inside like every other NPC was, but... Whatever. Uh, next time. Thanks. Thank you all for watching.